Bards in Final Fantasy V, like all the cast, was able to switch jobs anytime outside of battles. The evolution of the job system in this game easily could have been the basis for his Dissidia and Dissidia Duo Decim structure. But instead, they chose to base him purely on the Mind class, a class that in Final Fantasy V would copy a previously used ability. In Dissidia Arcade, Bards is no longer chained to one job, and instead takes some movesets from various jobs from Final Fantasy V. Monk, Dragoon, Black Mage, Mystic Knight, Blue Mage, Ranger, Ninja, and Samurai. When Bards lands enough attacks associated with a job, he masters the job. A mastered job will power up the character in various ways and give Bards a permanent stat buff. This directly ties into Final Fantasy V where if any character mastered a job, that stat would carry over to the freelancer job. The monk job is represented by an up-close, very fast 3-punch combo with a high knockback on the third strike. When mastered, the combo is replaced by a shoulder tackle, followed by a kick. The kick may be a reference to the iconic kick ability monks in Final Fantasy have. But animation-wise, it doesn't seem this way. The shoulder tackle covers a decent range and the kick has a high knockback, making this most likely Bart's safest ground poke while mastered. Also while mastered, the monk gives Bart's increased maximum HP. Black Mage is another option for grounded Bart's. Bart's will float around like a shoot type character before setting off a single fire spell a ground-based small AoE. When mastered, Bards will upgrade his fire spell to Faraga and chain into Blizzaga and finish with a Thundaga. They do give Bards a range op ranged option and mastering as many jobs as possible is going to be a key part of Bards, something I'll bring up further in. To top off Bards' grounded toolset is Jump, the iconic Dragoon ability. Jump is pretty much a brave version of Kane's jump. Bars will shoot in the air before plummeting down to the ground with his spear. This move has good vertical reach and will have use to quickly get into the action. Think jumping onto a platform on the mid-air stage without wasting any dash. When mastered, Bars will also shoot several projectiles out of his spear before he lands. Not all of these seem to hit the targets he jumped on, but it would make Bart's harder to punish from the front after a jump. One of Bart's faster aerial pokes is the Mystic Knight ability. Bart's will swing three elemental swords, fire, blizzard, thunder. When mastered, Bart's will power up the swords to Faraga, Blizzaga, and Tandaga, increasing his attack range and damage. This move seems to be his go-to safe melee option for the air, it comes out fast and has a sizable knockback. The elemental swords are a big part of his Mystic Knight class in Final Fantasy V, where they could use Spellblade to enchant their weapon with spells, allowing them to exploit weaknesses. Bars' aerial ranged ability comes from the Ranger, just a simple shot from a bow. When mastered, Bars will fire off several arrows at once increasing the damage heavily and making this move a lot more deadly for snapping out quick brave breaks on unsuspecting foes. This is a reference to one of the more notorious abilities in Final Fantasy V, Rapid Fire, which would allow you to attack four times in a row while ignoring defense and evasion. Bars' blue magic skill is Goblin Punch. Unlike the previous Dissidia, this isn't a HP attack, instead a brave attack. Bars will charge up slightly before using this move and then rush towards his opponent. When mastered, Bars will add Deathclaw to the end of the attack and follow up with Missile. This move is an excellent punisher and seems to do a lot of damage for Bars. Goblin Punch, Missile, and Deathclaw are all blue magic spells from Final Fantasy V. Goblin Punch being one of the first blue magic spells you can learn, it deals 8, more, eight times more damage if you're the same level as your target. Missile would reduce the opponent's health by one fourth, and Deathclaw would inflict Paralyze and reduce target's health to a single digit. Both of these spells were easiest learned from Gilgamesh. For his dash attack, Barth equips two daggers and thus a spinning attack. This is just a basic representation of the ninja class. 
When mastered, Bart spawns several images of himself before attacking several times. This is a reference to the ninja ability image, which functioned the same as the blink spell. This may or may not give Bart some dodge frames at the start of his attack. Bart's is currently known HP attack is Guild Toss, an ability the samurai used in Final Fantasy V. Bars will charge up before throwing Gil at his opponent. The longer he charges, the more money he throws, increasing range and width. Bars will always end the move with a quick katana slash if the Gil hits a target. This can catch multiple people at once. The HP attack itself seems average at best, it can catch people out uncharged, but the range will lack. Most likely Bars will need help setting this up. His second HP attack recently previewed involves Bart's attacking with several job abilities at once before ending with petals, petals around him, most likely symbolizing the dancer and the sword dance ability. The interesting thing to note about this HP attack is during the footage, Bart's mastered the job midway through the attack. This could mean each hit Bart's lands during his HP attack goes towards leveling his respective jobs giving him a way of leveling multiple jobs at once. Now all this talk of mastering jobs might seem pointless. Maybe you won't ever want to use certain moves in certain matchups. This is where Bars' EX skill and his role in a group comes in. As mentioned before, whenever Bars masters a job, he gets a permanent stat boost related to that job. Bars' EX skill, Lucky Charm, allows Bars to spread his buffs to his group. All in all, Bart is a character made for people who want to be more than pure rushdown or support. Bart's straddles align very well. Those who want to go rushdown will find the be will find better characters. Likewise for support, Bart is a character that could fit any group in theory, and bring a new playstyle to each match. This gives Bart a very high value when used right, being able to be a strong character in his own right and then further increase his party's strength. So while mastering Black Mage might not seem worth it, maybe if your team has a Terra or a Shantoto, you'd consider mastering it just to give them the buff. This gives Bart's an interesting dynamic where sometimes the strongest move isn't a move he'd want to use in the long term, and will keep Bars from Bars players on their toes for each match and find ways to adapt to both his own team and his opponents. And that pretty much wraps up Bart's. I would like to thank Arrow for helping me out with this uh, character since I don't have too much knowledge about him. Um, but if you guys found this informative, uh, please like leave it in the comments or hit the like button. I would really appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, see, see you next time.